I have an enormous amount of zero shoes and I've realized that I have not made a what is my favorite zero shoe video somehow yet. So I decided to make that today. I'm going to show a little clip here of all the zero shoes that I have. And as you can see, I've got a lot of zero shoes, a lot. They're everywhere. They're down here. There's some there. There's some in here. Which one I got in here? I got these. Got these. Got these. I think I got more. Yeah, I got these in here too. And when you come down here, I got those. I got those. So to start off with, I was, I've been using Zero Shoes since they were actually invisible shoes way back in the day when you could buy that kit uh, and you punch holes in it. I think I still actually have the punch. And you would just lace it however you wanted to lace it. And then uh, I forgot actually about uh, invisible shoes and Zero Shoes altogether. And I moved back to Cleveland and I had to get uh, shoes for my post office job and they had to be black. And at that time, the original Hana was out. So I just, and they were black. So I decided I'll give these a shot. I really liked Invisible Shoes. I knew that they had changed their name. I had kind of been watching them. I had seen that they were on Shark Tank. I figured, why not? And I loved them, right? I loved them. So I've been using their shoes, the shoes, since 2017, and I wanted to give some review. I've given reviews on, I think, every pair of shoes that I've used from theirs, except for the Colorado, and that's discontinued anyways, so I'm not going to do it. If you are looking for a shoe that is going to let your foot do what it needs to, to move how it needs to, so you can feel the ground, so you can actually have efficient movement, Zero Shoes is what you are looking for for if you're looking for super thick padding you know obviously that's not going to be your thing and the reason I don't like super thick padding and I don't think anybody else should is because when you are in super thick padding your foot is going to try to land as hard as it possibly can and it throws a bunch of other things off now I have talked about this at length if you want to know more about what I have to say about this I just made a pain video so I'm gonna uh, put that in in whatever corner uh, it's going to show up in. I wanted to get quick to the shoes that I like the most. I'm gonna get down to the top three, three that I just keep coming back to. And I think if you're going to start into the barefoot world, these are the ones you're gonna to wanna to start off with. Now, if you need something that is going to be for walking, gym, uh, maybe even going out, you know, going out in these things, if you want something that is very durable, I've had these, this one that I'm about to mention for a very long time now. I've had it since 2018-ish. It's just durable. It's just that everything shoe, it really is just everything that you can possibly need. Now, there is some things that I don't like about it that they kind of fixed in the new update, and this is the Prio. So the Prio, I've had these shoes for six, five or six years, five or six years. You can see I've worn, I don't even know how many thousands of miles of head on them. I did somehow lose track of the insoles of these things. The one thing that I absolutely cannot stand, I just can't stand, is how thick, is that showing up, how thick this padding is. I'm like, why did you do that? That is the only thing that I have an issue with. I've had other people ask me why I've got an issue with it. I don't know. It just feels just too much, too excess. So they did create the Neo Prio. They did take that out. I should have brought that down here. Uh, they did kind of take care of that. I really don't like the Neo Prio over the original Prio though. I would not buy the, the new version of the Prio over the old version of the Prio. Now, if you want that streamlined, I think if you're a runner, I think the Neo Prio is probably more suited for you. If you just need a general shoe, I really would go with just the original Prio, and I know they still sell it, so I would try that out. Oh, and before I keep going, I, I do want to say that I've got a link for these. It's an affiliate link for these shoes down in the comments or in the comment section, probably, and in the description section. But as you can see, I mean, the the, the tread hasn't even worn on these things. This is crazy to me, uh, honestly. I, I can't even. I, I can't even imagine how many miles I got on these shoes. 
The other shoe that they haven't updated, they don't need to update, is probably the shoe that if I had to do just about anything I can think of, it is this. This, this is the HANA. This is not my original HANA. This is my second pair of HANA. Now the bottom on these is actually worn a little bit. Uh, comparatively to the Prio, I, I, I would have to imagine I've probably got double the amount of miles in these. These are my all around go to. And if you are a weightlifter and you are a deadlifter, these are like the best deadlifting shoes I've ever come across in my life. Now, I have not used these for deadlifting, but I have used upstairs. I've got my original Hannas that are just basically yard work uh, shoes now. I have used those for deadlifting. If you are a weightlifter, these things are so amazing for that. Now you can lift in the Prio, but these things, once you get this, this lace kind of where you want it, I mean, these things are perfect for everything. They're perfect for just wearing out. They're perfect for just walking, running, hiking. Uh, I mean, just everything. Now, if it's a super technical trail, you're not going to take these out on a super technical trail. They bend, uh, you know, they fold like crazy. I guess I didn't do the fold test on the Perio. They don't fold as much um, as the Hana, but they're far from stiff. You know, they, you're gonna feel the world with those things. And then the third pair, now I would not use these as lifting shoes. This is the uh, Speed Force 2.0. This shoe is absolutely amazing. It is the most flexible shoe I have ever seen in my life. It is insane. You feel like you're not wearing any shoes. The one issue you might have because of that is this tread. You do do feel the tread kind of going into the bottom of your foot. I, I was trying to figure out a better word for that. You can see that I, I actually have more miles on these, I think, than even these Prios. These shoes, they may smell like a corpse at this point. Yeah. Whew. So that's the one thing you got to worry about with these shoes. If you're somebody who does not like socks, uh, you can put them in a the washer. You can, you know, do that. You can, you know, clean them out, but they are going to let you know that you have worn them without socks. I'll tell you that. Um, I do want to make a couple of honorable mentions before I uh, announce my winner. And it's one that one of the ones that's so irritating to me that they updated and didn't keep the original is the HFS. I should have brought it down here. I didn't bring it down here. The HFS was a, like a flawless shoe, flawless shoe. I don't know why they updated. I hate the update. If you've seen my review for the update, you'll know that I hated the update. I've told Steven Sashin, the CEO, that I hate the update. I don't understand that update at all. I can't stand it. It's narrow. It's thick. I, I, it just, I can't stand it. it doesn't, it's not as flexible. I'm like, why, why did you make this? Why? So I, you know, honorable mention. Uh, the other ones that I, I like are uh, Scrambler Mid. The Scrambler Mid are amazing. I just don't think it's an everyday shoe. You know, if, if you don't mind the lugs on the bottom, maybe it is an everyday shoe for you. If they had a version of that shoe that didn't have the lugs on, if they kind of changed it to, to this, this kind of system, uh, but kind of left everything else very similar, then I would have mentioned that in this video as one of the top, you know, three. It just, it's my top, like hiking wise, 100% best one I've ever tried. But as far as an everyday, it's just not there. I haven't also mentioned any of the sandals as an everyday. I just can't wear any of their sandals for an extended period of time because of the straps around my foot. They just start eventually irritating my foot. That may be just me, but I do know a couple other people who wear sandals uh, from, from all sandals. And we all kind of have a similar thing where it's just this strap around the top of the foot eventually irritates you. All right. Finally, my top three are basically my top picks. It's really hard for me to actually pick my favorite, but if I had to, it would be the Speed Force 2.0, 100%. Now, these are lightweight. So there might, might be some applications where lightweight just is not desirable, but these shoes are flawless. I, I've watched some of his, uh, Steve Sashin's videos. 
he's had people buy like 40 or 50 pair of them so they don't run out and i can see why it is definitely without a doubt and i think he's even said it's his favorite pair of shoes but he's also said like every time he tries on a, you know a, a different version of his own shoes he's like oh this is like my favorite shoe so it kind of does turn into that these all three of these are a very close race like you could almost say it's like a tie always Th these just edge it out a little bit they just do i i've you know i i wore these uh to new york city one time and i had them on for like 16 hours and i wasn't even mad i just wasn't even mad about it i just didn't even care i almost didn't even want to take them off when i was done that's my what shoe i would pick and obviously you've seen i've got a lot of their shoes so and i've worn all of them pretty extensively you know uh that's the ones i would pick anyway any questions on their shoes leave them down below again i put an affiliate link uh somewhere down there so you can go check it out go you know look at which ones you like the most but if i had if i could only buy three pair of zero shoes because i don't really hike as much as i used to i've really gotten into the seller sizer this three would be it if i could only pick one I would just buy the Speed Force 2. I would just get a couple of pair because like I said, they do smell like a corpse. Talk to you in the next video. Uh, share this video if you've got somebody who is thinking of barefoot or looking into barefoot. Um, I want to kind of make more videos about this because I really think it's an important thing and it really changes your posture. And even your muscle structure in your legs is going to start changing you're going to notice so it really does change everything anyway that is the video and i'll talk to you in the next one